7 Ways to Boost Your Stem Cells It may surprise you to learn that the essential components of the human body are stem cells. In the past 50 years, mesenchymal stem cells isolated from cord tissue have gained popularity as a potential treatment for many disorders that have not responded to more conventional drug-based therapies. Liver cirrhosis, diabetes, and chronic kidney disease are only a few of the current illnesses being treated with stem cells. What if you did not want a stem cell transplant, but wanted to employ stem cells for preventative medicine while in good health? Well, here are seven tried and accurate methods for boosting your body's natural stem cell count and preventing them from reducing as well. The first way is to eat a healthy, nutrient-rich diet to boost stem cells. There is a strong correlation between what we eat and how quickly or slowly our bodies can repair and replenish themselves, proving once again that food is medicine. Stem cell-friendly diets are an excellent starting point for encouraging healthy cell division. For example, researchers have discovered intermittent fasting stimulates rapid cellular regeneration by activating stem cells. In addition, superoxide dismutase, SOD, is a potent antioxidant that can be boosted by eating berries like blackberries, goji berries, pomegranates, blueberries, and raspberries. This enzyme is rich in flavonoids that help reduce inflammation and is excellent at lowering oxidative stress, essential in maintaining liver health and keeping joints pain-free. Some of the finest foods for promoting stem cell proliferation are cruciferous vegetables, including cauliflower, broccoli, kale, cabbage, bok choy, garden cress, and Brussels sprouts. Polyphenols, a type of micronutrient, are abundant in certain mushrooms, including maytake and shiitake. These nutrients, present in plant-based diets and stem cell enhancers, help protect and detoxify liver cells from harmful chemicals that can break down hormones in the body. Ecosepentaenoic acid, one of numerous omega-3 fatty acids found in seafood and fatty fish, is a potent and natural adult stem cell activator. Fish oil, which is rich in the omega-3 fatty acid, EPA, has been shown in several trials to significantly reduce the likelihood of getting cardiovascular disease. Therefore, we advise you to include these foods in your diet to boost your stem cells. Then you should avoid using tobacco, cigarettes, and vape. The use of alcohol and tobacco products can have devastating effects on stem cell health. Scientific studies conducted over many years have shown that smokers have slower recovery times than non-smokers. If you or a loved one are seeking a simple approach to maximize your physical potential and boost your stem cells, drinking sensibly and quitting smoking are great places to start. Excessive alcohol intake leads to liver disease and brain oxidative stress owing to chronic neuroinflammation. Perhaps even more so than the nicotine, the flavorings in your vape of choice could contribute to your health problems. A new study that used stem cells to evaluate the effect of e-liquids on cardiovascular disease confirmed the negative consequences of flavored e-cigarette liquids and e-cigarette use. Cinnamon and menthol are the most poisonous flavors, so it is recommended that you give up tobacco in its whole and all at once if you are a vapor who also smokes or uses other tobacco products. On the other hand, if you're serious about quitting cigarettes, it may be easier to give up all forms of tobacco at once. Third on the list is to reduce sugar intake. Sugar describes any meal easily absorbed and metabolized into glucose in the body. The most common examples are added sugars in beverages and foods such as coffee, soda, sweets, and fruit juices. Refined grains in bread, crackers, and pasta are also sources of sugar, albeit in a less visible form. The metabolic syndrome, which includes weight gain, insulin resistance, and high blood pressure, can be triggered by excessive sugar consumption and insufficient physical activity. One study found that adult stem cells survived longer in cell culture when glucose levels were decreased. Scientists have discovered that high blood sugar reduces stem cells' ability to repair and renew themselves. We must work towards a world where added sugars are drastically reduced or eliminated. Added sugars and processed foods are of particular concern now because of the growing evidence linking them to an increased risk of cancer and other chronic diseases. Eliminating sugar from your diet has many health benefits, including enhanced longevity. 
better weight management, and enhance stem cell function. Another key to boosting stem cells naturally is to stay active, exercise, and lift weights. Researchers have found that stem cells in the bones of older, more organisms are of higher quality. This study also confirms previous findings that exercise and weightlifting can boost the number of stem cells in skeletal muscle. The key is maintaining an average activity level. Increase the intensity of your workouts if you've only been doing light exercise so far. Go to the gym, or better yet, get a professional trainer. Are you already a weightlifting regular? Aim to gain some weight. The same goes for cyclists and runners. Challenge yourself to go further and faster. Aim for at least 150 minutes of aerobic activity every week. High-intensity interval training may be a more time-efficient method of achieving aerobic fitness. However, getting advice from a qualified practitioner before beginning such a program would be best. The pool is a great place to do light activities. And so are daily walks. The objective here is to boost your training level to boost the stem cells of the finest possible quality. A word of caution for you here. If you suffer from an orthopedic or medical problem that prevents you from being physically active, you may need to gradually increase your activity levels under the supervision of a knowledgeable physical therapist. Try taking health supplements to boost your stem cells. Nutritional supplements that are often used may help boost stem cells and cartilage. Among these are vitamins D3 and C, and curcumin, glucosamine, chondroitin, resveratrol, and fish oil. They were selected since there is research that demonstrates their benefits and the effects that they have on stem cells. Vitamin C encourages the growth of stem cells in our bone marrow. In addition, stem cells can live longer with the support of vitamin D3, which also improves their health and facilitates their differentiation into specialized cell types. You've likely heard about curcumin before, as it's the critical component of turmeric spice. Curcumin is an effective anti-inflammatory that promotes mesenchymal stem cell health. This supplement has also been demonstrated to reduce bone loss by increasing bone growth and decreasing oxidative stress. In addition, there is evidence that it can also prevent the debilitating effects of osteoarthritis, which is a degenerative joint disease. Research has demonstrated that resveratrol can prevent cartilage damage and promote the growth and differentiation of stem cells. Moreover, resveratrol helps maintain a healthy blood sugar level. Resveratrol is found in wholesome foods like blueberries and other berry varieties, and in red and purple grapes. This is a healthy method of increasing your stem cell count, but don't go crazy with the dosage, or you could endanger your health. Another effective way is to regularly check your prescription and over-the-counter medicines. Research spanning more than a decade has shown that numerous common medicines, both over-the-counter and prescription, interfere with the ability to circulate stem cells to home and increase. For example, quinolone antibiotics, like those found in Cipro and Leviquin, are toxic to cartilage and tendon cells, and damage stem cells in the bloodstream. Infections in the urinary system and respiratory tract are common indications for these potent antibacterial medications. Side effects from fluoroquinolones include tendon ruptures in the knees and hip injuries in patients with orthopedic conditions. While each type of ligament in the body has unique stem cells, some drugs can weaken or even destroy tendons. Long-term use of these drugs has been linked to complications such as tendonitis, degenerative disc degeneration, and ruptures. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, and other OTC pain relievers have been linked to an increased risk of developing autoimmune disease, kidney failure, neuropathy, stomach problems, and brain strokes. Use natural anti-inflammatories like turmeric curcumin or fish oil, instead of synthetic NSAIDs like Aleve, Ibuprofen, Motrin, or Celebrex. Natural anti-inflammatories don't have the same adverse side effects as synthetic ones. So, this is how your medicines can prevent stem cells from boosting. We advise you to check what you are taking. Lastly, reduce your triglycerides. The blood in our bodies has a system for preserving unneeded carbs. Triglycerides, or TRGs, are the name for this storage mechanism in our bodies. Carbs are used as an energy source, while excesses are stored as TRGs for later use.
triglycerides can rise to unhealthy levels if we consume more carbohydrates than we burn off regularly, putting us at risk for cardiovascular disease and hypertension. In addition to their role in developing metabolic syndrome and weight gain, TRGs have been linked to a diet high in sugar and calories. According to experts and our observations, people who struggle with high triglyceride levels and obesity also tend to have stem cells that do not increase very well. If you want your TRGs to be lower than usual and to boost your stem cells quickly, in that case, we advise you to get your TRGs measured and then cut back on sugar, carbohydrates, and calories until your body returns to normal. Triglyceride levels can be lowered with the help of a high-quality fish oil supplement. The rate of scientific progress in the field of stem cell research has recently accelerated. But keep in mind that stem cell therapy will only provide long-term benefits if your stem cells are in good health to begin with. These seven methods can help you naturally boost your stem cells and improve your health and performance. That wraps up today's video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more helpful and entertaining videos. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Take care.